The world as they knew it was coming to an end. The sky, once a serene canvas of azure and gold, now churned with dark, roiling clouds. Lightning crackled through the heavens, illuminating the jagged tears that had begun to appear. These were not mere rifts in the sky, they were gateways to another realm, a realm where ancient forces prepared for an age-old conflict. High above the mortal realm, in the resplendent halls of heaven, the angels gathered. Their wings, shimmering with divine light, rustled with unease. At the center of the grand hall stood Michael, the archangel. His golden armor glinted as he addressed the assembly, his voice a clarion call that echoed through the celestial expanse. My brethren, the time we have long feared is upon us. The forces of hell have broken through the barriers. Their leader, Lucifer, seeks to claim dominion over all creation. We must stand united to defend the realms of light and order. Gabriel the messenger stepped forward, his silver wings reflecting the light of a thousand suns. Michael speaks the truth. We have seen the signs. The legions of hell are massing, and their darkness spreads even now. But we have our own strength, our own purpose. We shall not falter. Clad in dark armor that seemed to absorb the very light around him, Lucifer raised his sword, a blade forged in the infernal flames of his domain. His eyes, burning with a cold, relentless fury, surveyed his demonic hordes. Meanwhile, in the fiery depths of hell, Lucifer, the fallen archangel, prepared his own legions. No more. We shall rise and bring forth a new order, an order where we reign supreme. For eons we have been cast down, imprisoned in this fiery pit. Brothers and sisters of the abyss, the time has come to reclaim what was wrongfully taken from us. The demons roared in response, their cries a cacophony of malevolent glee and anticipation. Among them stood Azazel, a fierce general of Hell's armies. He stepped forward, his eyes gleaming with dark intent. We are ready, Lord Lucifer. The legions are prepared and the gates to the mortal realm have been breached. We await your command. Lucifer's lips curled into a smile, one devoid of warmth. Then let us begin. Let the heavens tremble and let the earth be our battleground. We shall show the hosts of heaven what true power is. As the forces of heaven and hell readied themselves for the inevitable clash, the mortal world below began to feel the tremors of the coming storm. Ordinary people looked to the sky in fear, unaware of the celestial and infernal armies amassing above and below. The fabric of reality itself seemed to shiver in anticipation of the great war that was to come. In a quiet village, nestled between rolling hills and ancient forests, a young woman named Elara gazed at the ominous sky. She had always felt a connection to the unseen world, a sense of something greater beyond the mundane. As she watched the heavens fracture and darken, a strange feeling settled over her, a sense of destiny, of an unknown path she was about to tread. Little did Elara know that she would soon be drawn into the conflict, her fate intertwined with the celestial battle that threatened to engulf all existence. For in the war between heaven and hell, even the most unlikely souls could tip the scales of destiny. And so, as the first thunderous clashes echoed across the realms, the stage was set. The war between heaven and hell had begun, and with it, the fate of all creation hung in the balance. Uh, we rising up. Yeah. Get up. You don't really know I'm done. Me, I got something that I need to prove. I cannot lose. Nah.